If you are considering to buy the Samsung Odyssey G9, then this is the ultimate review for you as it's been two years since I first got my hands on this massive 49 inch 1000 hour curvature monitor and I'm here to share my usage, its impressive specs, the impact on my productivity, its performance, build quality, issues and had I known what I know now about this monitor will I be buying it again when I did two years ago. When I first got my hands on the Samsung Odyssey G9 I was pretty impressed with its modern design, impressive specs and of course the massive size. The Samsung Odyssey G9 is a gaming and productivity monitor that's designed to offer an immersive experience with a big 49 inch screen. This monitor is sure to make an impact in any setup. For the past two years I have been using this monitor almost on a daily basis. My typical usage means I am editing 4K videos, editing photos, working on some less intensive tasks such as researching, writing and other typical work tasks. I also enjoy consuming in this monitor, however I am not a gamer so I can't really comment on that. The Samsung Odyssey G9 boasts a 49 inch dual QHD display with a resolution of 5120 by 1440 and a fast refresh rate of 240Hz. Just a side comment though that for all you fellow Mac users you can enjoy 120 hertz refresh rate on this as that is what our Mac offers us but the 120 hertz refresh rate is already buttery smooth so at this point I don't really know what I'm missing out. The Samsung Odyssey G9 also comes with a 32 by 9 aspect ratio which gives you a wider view of your games, movies and documents without the need for multiple monitors. This aspect ratio is especially useful for gamers who likes playing games with a more panoramic view such as racing games or first person and shooters. The monitor is also equipped with HDR1000 technology which delivers stunning color brightness making games, movies and videos come to life. The HDR1000 technology is paired with a peak brightness of 1000 nits so the viewing experience is vivid and brilliant. Moving on to the performance of the Samsung Odyssey G9, after using it for two years it's clear that this monitor is not just built for good looks, it delivers on performance as well. The fast refresh rate combined with the high resolution results in a smooth and responsive display. The high dynamic range or HDR makes images and videos pop and come to life. I do enjoy this feature as I edit a lot of photos and videos and it's also lovely when I'm consuming. The performance of the Samsung Odyssey G9 is exceptional. When I bought this two years ago I think it was the only monitor of its kind. The G9 provides a smooth and responsive display with stunning visuals and a unique immersive experience. One of the standout features of the Samsung Odyssey G9 is its 49 inch curve display which provides a unique and immersive experience. The 1000 hour curvature is actually helping me with productivity. Well first of all this futuristic design does make me excited to do some work up until now two years later. Secondly the massive 49 inch screen size simply means I can have multiple apps open at the same time. The massive real estate makes it so much easier for me to see what I'm doing and it's great to have my apps on full display. It's easy on my eyes and the massive size makes it easier for me to work. Thirdly, the 1000 hour curvature is so immersive that it helps me with getting distracted quite easily. My peripheral vision is covered by my screen so naturally I have been able to focus more. As much as I love this monitor, the build quality have some issues. I would say about 80% of this monitor has been built well. The slim bezels are amazing, it is nice and sturdy and we've actually moved this monitor in different locations and offices at least about three times already so it is reasonably well built and this Despite its big size, it's not fragile at all. There are a few caveats about this monitor that you must really know about before buying. I am aware that some users don't necessarily experience the issues that I have. One thing that's worth mentioning is that I bought this monitor when it just came out, so maybe Samsung heard about the issues and started fixing it with the newer models that they produced. The first issue that I experience is the flickering. I have done everything I know and had that has been suggested to fix this and I still rarely get it. I am not entirely sure as to what triggers it as my usage varies when it occurs and I cannot find a common denominator. As mentioned though, this occurs rarely these days. I would say it was a lot more frequent during my first few months with this monitor. The second issue is the popping sound. I think this is because the plastic that was used in a certain part of this monitor is quite cheap. So when the monitor heats up, it creates this popping noise.
personally, this does not really bother me as I always have a background noise or I'm editing videos. The third issue is a single dead pixel. I've had this dead pixel since I bought it, but honestly, it is hard to find and it does not interfere with my work. This is not really an issue for me. However, I thought it is worth mentioning. So you are aware that a dead pixel from a monitor of this size is something to look out for. The last issue that I have is the RGB lights. I just don't think it's bright enough considering its price compared to this cheap RGB light that I got from Amazon. I think it would have been super cool if this was bright. So the few issues that I mentioned, it's hefty price tag, would I buy this monitor had I known what I know now after two years of using this? I would say so. I know this monitor is not perfect. However, I really enjoy the cool specs, the massive 49 inch screen and the 1000 R curvature. I would say it is lasting reasonably well. I never sold this nor returned it. And I have been using it almost every day since as I have been using this for over two years. This probably costs me at least one pound 50 per day to date. And for me, that's worth it. If you would like to see how the G9 compares with the G9 Neo, then check out this video.